guys? What's up, Defragged? Uh, that was music from one of the sub-stories in Yakuza Like a Dragon. Um, I, uh, my setup's a bit different last, than, than last time I streamed. Um, I added another monitor on top of my, my original one. Um, and so just for streaming, I unplugged the right-hand one. But that also means the camera I was using uh, is now not attached where it was because it was attached to my monitor stand, which is now being blocked by the monitor. So I have a different camera today. Um, the Logitech camera I have does not like colors. Like, I don't know what's wrong with it. I was having an issue with it last time. Um, so the, uh, uh, what's going on, uh, Vlad? Um, the, the camera is like black and white. I don't know why, or it's really blue. I don't really, I can't really tell colors elude me. The monitor doesn't have the best color, uh, uh, representation. I haven't really dove into trying to fix it yet, but, um, it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, no, this is, this is the same, the same quality as the last camera. Just, well, it's still 720p30, like the last camera was, because I'm sending it through a program that only does 720 30 to do the background removal. I could do the background removal via... Um... OBS, but I don't know. So I'm just going to be sort of blue today, which is which fits. Um, I crush it to two colors. Yeah, great. Um, I stayed up really late last night digging through hard drives, trying to find some stuff. Um, unfortunately, my main hard drive from college seems to have died, um, a terrible death. Um, I can't get it to come back. Um, but a bunch of my other stuff was there, and I posted some of it in the music channel, but there's also a lot of memories I didn't really want to remember. <laughs> so, that's the, the alternate reason uh, uh, I'm blue. One, one reason I'm blue is the camera and one is that. But also staying up till 6 a.m. is like a surefire way to trigger my headaches. So um, that's the world I'm living in now is headache land. I have one fucking hair that won't decide where it wants to go. All right, we were going in to um, talk to these guys, right? You saw a guy that looks like Ichiban? That's kind of cool. Lovely neighborhood. Huh. I like how he just stops the wait. I'm here. What? Why were there two of him for a second? River. You either got business with me or news about my Randy. Wouldn't drag your butt out here if you didn't. Joss, meet V. So V, is this about my Randy? Randy's been taken. Why didn't you call? Joss, I... Throw a blanket over the truth, like always. Police caught the guy, but he caught a bullet and he's in a coma, being watched. But where's Randy? We're looking, Joss. Here? Who am I going to wife? I don't know. Arguing's not going to help anyone. I don't know you know who, uh, who the options are. You got no place telling me how to behave. I don't think I've met them all. Joss. It's going on dark. Listen, we need to look through Randy's things. Why? To find any lead we can. Trust me, Joss. Just don't destroy anything. Randy doesn't like it when anyone pokes through his stuff. Let's go, V. The kids are playing outside. 
Hey, John's thank you, Fizz. What's on your mind? I think it's good she learned the truth. That's the trailer. Eyes peeled for details, eh? I like how it made me stand up and then let me recrawl. Monique, Dorian. Hey, guys. Is this your partner? Just a friend. You gonna stay over? We'll see. Mom's waiting for you at dinner. I killed the corporal lady? Which corporal lady? Trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. You check around, I'll check the trash. Record player. Malfunction. Top grade. Device, excellent, disc scratched, owner profile, audiophile, fanatic of dark style music. Traces of chemical substance. Hmm. Looks like he took a ship before he got captured. Huh. Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. You know him well. He used to send him an album every year for his B-Day. It's going to be seven. Jeez. Still see the Knicks from those first years we measured the kids. Left his favorite hoodie in the expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this. You're joking. Mom, I, it was a vibrate. Hey, Miss Thanks, thank you. How you doing, man? You hurt? Yeah, I have a headache today. No chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. We gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Of course. Let me give it a shot. Why was the keyboard just a screen? Oh, you're up there working? Nice. Let's see. E9, BD, BD, C1. Oh, what? Wait, what? Don't know how, River. Wait, did I? No, wait. Need to try to guess it then. What could he have? Locked. Know where the key might be? Nope. I'm fucking reloading that. What did I do wrong? Oh, did it just autosave? Fucking hell, dude. Did I did I click on the wrong thing? I thought I had it down. I like how the blur at the bottom talks about rabbits. This is their old trailer. Randy moved in when I bought him a new one. Real hellhole. Like in my good old days. We check around, check the trash. Tainted Overlord. Favorite band. You know him well. We used to send him an album every year. Speeding. 
Expensive tech. Randy had the scratch for this? You're joking. Locked. Know where the key might be? Nope. Let's see if we do this correct this time. No chance Randy could afford hardware like this. Way too pricey. We gotta get in, but I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Let me give it a shot. 1C BD5555. Eureka. Help me scour this, will you? Files. ATT cart video. What the hell's this? Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. I mean, I don't. They're they're pumping shit in and out of the cow. Why why does it have a thing in its back? Volume one of the Blades of Doom trilogy, Chapter One: Ghost of Ancestor Salvation. A silhouette of a gaunt female figure begins began to take shape among the ebb of the inky fog. By its long braid, the woman had a severed head, only one eye socket clearly visible. Decay had already long begun to melt the face's flesh, exposing the white of bone underneath. The other side fared, fared much better. Then, without uttering a sound, the woman shifted her gaze to pierce the eyes of the weary warrior. Come kill me, I'm ready for death, she shouted with a cold intensity, prepared to meet her end at last. Genius or psychopath? Black metal has produced countless, countless charismatic characters. But the uniqueness of Aiden Burroughs, known also by the moniker Nama and Balberth, is perhaps in a class of its own genre. Wait, class of its own in the genre. Vocalist, guitarist, bassist, songwriter, I Idealogue. Some call him a genius, others a fucking psychopath. When a person like Burroughs becomes defined by polar extremes, it's no wonder when he begins to arouse curiosity outside the metal world. There's no diminishing the lasting mark he's left in black metal, but even in music more broadly, most agree he was driving the, he was the driving influence for a new wave of metal artists and bands like Tainted Overlord, who have managed to claw their way up from the bowels of metal hell to the almost mainstream music scene. ncity.drugsarebad.public It's never too late to change. Action can be defeat oh addiction can be defeated. Yes. To fight addiction is to go to war for your life. But together, hand in hand, we can emerge victorious. What's going on, Handbread? How you doing, man? Yeah, I have the wrong... I have a different camera than normal, and it doesn't... It's fucked up. Um... Like here, I'll launch the fucking camera settings and... I have brightness, contrast, which doesn't do a whole ton, um, color intensity, which just changes me to blue, and auto white balance, which does jack shit, except make me look even more blue, so. I put a different monitor on top where I normally have my camera. And so, um, because of that, I can't put the camera up there. Of course, it crashes my my camera when I exit. So I can't put my um, I can't put my camera up there because I have a monitor up there. Um, it's only temporary. I've been fooling around with some different setups here to see if anything works a bit better. Um, but it. Sorry, from Anthony to B. Randy. I meant to call. Harrison, if you like that. 
Sorry, I meant to. Gated Street, shit, River. I remember that day. I meant to call. Sorry, it's been half. to an old school. I meant to call. Sorry, it's been half the day sitting on my Thornton. Police had all of Watson blocked off, and I was stuck in traffic for hours trying to cross town. I kind of live in an area where I used to go to school, but it looks all different now. So trying to find ways past those jams made it easy to get all turned around. Hope you're not mad. From Randy to B. Anthony. Hey, no problem. I need to help my mom. I needed to help my mom, anyways. Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Do you have everything ready at your place? From Anthony, almost. The stream dies. Ah, oh, why is my fucking stream dead? I don't know what the fuck happened, man. Not happy. Not happy at all. Not only that. Not only that. But Cyberpunk crashed. Ah, <sighs> I don't, I, I never, I'll never get it. I'll never get it. Gone in house, it's gone, it's gone. Good morning, Night City. Yesterday's body count lottery rounded out to a solid and sturdy. Th Welcome to Info Flash. Say, do y'all lose power yesterday, too? Lost internet. And we gotta get in. But I doubt anyone knows the password. Can you crack it? Let's try this for the third time, no worries. Let me give it a shot. Help me scour this, will you? Something deeply fucked about that cartoon. My skin's crawling. Say you're lying. Harrison, if you collect that. Blockaded street. Shit, River. I remember that day. He lives close to an old school. Thanks. I wanted to say thanks. Guess in general. Angel of empathy, this guy, huh? Just wanted to say thanks. Guess in general, I'm just holding on to the thought that there are more people like me out there dealing with the same shit. Why are you helping us anyway? I used to be like you. I wasn't spared any of life's cruel twists and turns. Worst of it was when my best friend died. Shit, sorry to hear that. Can I ask what happened? Rare muscle disease. His body just got weaker and weaker until he was a shadow of himself. I wanted to help him more than anything, but there was no possible way I could. Of course, anyone who could help, he couldn't afford. If he just held, had the means, he could have bought some super drug or new body or I don't know. Worse luck than the disease was being born into a poor family. Anyway, that's why I do what I do. I couldn't help my best tune, but maybe I, there are... But just maybe there are some people out in the world I can help. Trouble in Haywood. Hey, I hope you don't mind, but I used Randy's to... his identity. Send him the game as a present. Hey, I hope you don't mind, but I used to admin privilege. I used my admin privileges to find you and I are on in real in real life. RL, that is your home address. Sorry, hope it's not too weird, but I had a good reason. There's a gift on its way. A game called Big Trouble in Haywood. 
You know it? Anyway, hope you like it. Have fun. I fucked up again. I'm toking again. I'm sorry. I don't know. Randy like a pro. I'm toking again. I'm sorry. I don't know why I keep doing it. I guess I'm just a piece of shit. You're a perfectly normal person, Randy. You're just like anyone with a gigantic, uh, with a gigantic head heart still beating in their chest. Remember, I'm always here to talk to you, uh, talk to, to understand you, to help you. I know you'll recover from this, like you always have. Less than three. Thanks for yesterday, less than three. The city from up on that tower looked just so beautiful. Honestly, I honestly, honestly, I felt speechless. Though maybe that's because I don't love heights. Colon P. Is that a semicolon? Really, it was nice. But maybe next time I take you into the city, head to Japantown, grab a bite. You'll love it once you see it. And oh my god, the restaurant my aunt takes me to sometimes. So Nova. XD. Let me know. Love you, cutie. Colon asterisk. From B. Randy to Natalie. Yeah, of course. I had fun too. About this restaurant, we'll see. Not sure I have time. Hard to promise anything, so we'll see. Hey, you know you don't have to worry about Eddie's. We already talked about this. Just let yourself be invited to something nice for once. Love ya. Semicolon. Close bracket. Oh my god, he's got a lot of emails. What do you say? Tell you what, I think your site's really Nova. Do you? Are you seeing what I'm seeing? There's no way. Why would he do that? Not only did they agree to meet, but it looks like Randy was as excited as any kid on his way to a theme park. Fuck. This creep definitely scrambled Randy's head. Tell you what, I think your site's really Nova. I think I'm ready to finally meet up in person. Same time and place he wrote before? Cause man, I just can't wait now. Ah. That's right, same time we agreed. It makes me happy to hear you're happy. Just one tiny request. Delete that first email I sent, just in case. Don't want anyone sniffing around something that doesn't concern them. Family. I understand. I didn't have a normal family either. My mom died young, and my dad, he just tried to give me a future. Wasn't it easy, though, to make a living on the farm once the cattle pestilence took hold? Eventually, it just all fell out beneath his feet. The cattle, the business, deep depression took his life. I tell you this so you know you're not the only one who's lost a father. I understand you so well. The only real difference it is was nomads that stole your dad from you. And for me, it was corrupt corpse and their dirty money grabs. That's why I hide all my activity from the corpse. Trauma team and biotechnica would be all over me in a second if they knew what I got up to. But I don't have to explain all that to you, Randy. You get it. I know you'll keep this all just between us chumbas. Stay strong, buddy. I know you got it in you. This is pretty fucked XD. Natalie must have been the only person Randy trusted. Can we view this page with a link? Hey Nat, check out the site Drugs Are Bad. When, you get, when you're there, click on the image, the red one with the people in it, from Natalie. The hell is this, some kind of cult? How do you even find this? Just cru cruising the net, doesn't matter. Sorry gear for what, Ken? You alive. Hey, you won't answer my texts. Won't answer my hollows. Still alive, man? I have a special delivery for you from a Valentino chum of mine. You just gotta pick it up. Anyone in Haywood would give up both kidneys for this thing. And I'm holding it for you. I'm still holding it for you, free of charge, like some gonk. Do me a favor and answer, because I'm starting to get pissed. Oh, it's alright, Ken. It's, it's what it is. Some kind of link. The one Randy wrote about? Let's find out. Tony's shelter. Hidden page set up by Anthony Harris. Christ. I'm gonna be sick. Welcome to Tony's Haven. The place you've been looking for. The place where you can just be, uh, become the best version of yourself. Thanks to Tony. I live here with my friends. They come here because they are fed up with seeing their life go to waste. Just like you. Think of me as a farmer who looks after his livestock. Get acquainted and stick around. Together we'll show these old farms what we're capable of no idea what i'm talking about 
Don't worry, I'll explain everything in good time. But it's time for you to decide. Do you want to remain a shadow of yourself or become the person you always dreamed of being? Come on down. Join us. Introduce yourself and Jesus stick around. Man, this is fucked. Guy preyed on troubled kids. Made habit to target boys like Randy. This is my fault. If I just paid more attention. Just talked with him more. Hey, come on. You're not the one to blame here. Introduce yourself and stick around. I know who you are. You're the boy who's been rejected by society, left to fend for himself, misunderstood by his family, and deprived of real friends. I was once like you. You can stay here as long as you like, because you just found your new home. I have a secret special treatment that'll not only get you back on your feet, but will also free up that weight from your mind and shoulders, make you limitless, everything you need to bust out of your shackles. You'll find them in my haven. You'll become superhuman, resistant to sickness, strong, healthy, invincible. But before we do that, how about we get to know each other first? Uh, shoot a message over, uh, shoot over a message at anthony34ncity.drugsorebad.pub. Remember, you're one of the chosen ones. Files. Error. There was a file here. Deleted, looks like. But the name's still there. That name. Wasn't the video file on Randy's comp called something like that? Hey, look. The name of this cartoon matches the missing file on Harris's page. That's what we needed to find for Yawin. V, we've got it. Randy must have downloaded it. Sure, but V, don't you get it? This could be the key to Harris's mind. Here's hoping. Hey, uh, can you use any of that Netrunner magic to shake anything else out of this? Get Harris's IP address optional. Not really sure how. How would you even do that? They no options to do anything. Oh, I need better, better brain skills here. Um, I don't quite have what I need. I only have eleven intelligence. Not that kind of magician. It's gone, Sudal. Oh, okay. We'll have to manage without it. That cartoon, River. Could be what we've been looking for. You said yourself we needed something to get Harris to dream. Send it to Yawin. Right. Sending it now. Okay. Says she'll get back to me by morning. And that I am a son of a bitch. And, uh, uh, Come on. Let's grab a bite. What about what about the fucking stuff that's locked up in that drawer? Why would you open the bathroom door, dude? Listen, let's not worry Joss more than we need to, huh? We're hot on the trail. We'll know more tomorrow. That's it. Dorian, please. But it really tastes like boogers! Joss, we're finished. All done. Off to bed, then. We left some for 
for you, Uncle River. Thanks, Monique. You took a bite out of both of them. Why would you not eat one hamburger, not eat half of both? Oh, you fucking kids, dude. Tell me you found something. Well, no more tomorrow. I sent some evidence to the lab. There's a chance we could know where to find Randy by morning. When's the last time you ate? Download more RAM. Yesterday. How's it going, India? Have mine. I'm not hungry. Thanks. Maybe later. Eat, eat the two halves of different hamburgers that the kids ate. No, you? No bullshit. Don't look at my brother. Just tell me. Will you find my boy? River's a hell of an investigator. Randy's as good as found. Won't give up until I do, Joss. Joss, you mind if V takes Randy's trailer for the night? No. Sure. Stay in, right? You gotta help me see this through. To the end. Of course I'll stay. Find your way all right? Yup. Gonna hit the sack soon. Gravy and hot dogs, yeah. Hang in there, Joss. Can't be easy raising three kids on your own. Well, it wasn't any easier with my husband. In fact, the best days were when he didn't come home. There were times I wished he'd disappear for a month just to not have him hang around. Must have been a relief then, when he left. For weeks, I cried every night. My husband was killed, the father of my children. I'm... I'm sorry. Randy changed. He locked up. Not to mention the other two I still had to raise. Life was rough with him and without him. Sometimes there's no solution. That bad, huh? His bike in the highway. That was his world. But at home... Let me tell you a story. This one time he took Dorian into the city. Had some errand to run, just father and son. He came back that night, dead-ass drunk. Raging at me for calling the cops on him. Did you? River found him in some dive and brought Dorian home. How'd he die? Thale de Caldos told me he died an honorable death. Whatever the hell that means. They showed me his body, where his face used to be. Couldn't see the honor in that. Let's, um, change the subject. <laughs> Let's change the subject. Goodbye. V, wake up. <sighs> Not done sleeping. Yawin called. It worked. The cartoon. He's dreaming. You... You got the BD. Right here. Slot it in. Jack into the computer. I want to see it on the monitor. Why am I doing it? That dock of yours is quick. Not bad. Oh, I got a jack into the computer. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. What is that? This isn't normal behavior. Anthony, you killed Liam's turtle. Is it the turtle? He was sick. He wouldn't eat, stayed in his shell. I just wanted to help him. By injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this something your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. 
but that is no excuse. That turtle goo. Fuck you. What did you just say? Okay, I've had enough. Principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. Little speed demon, look at him run. Don't you dare talk about my dad. That's right, you little shit. I know it all. Farm failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you you prick! You you can't! You you can't! He he was sick, weak. I just wanted to help him. Why is he a cow? The gas mask. And that's no evil help. What's the matter with you, Anthony? I have to report this. I hope you understand that. Teacher, civilian, this identity unknown, okay. cheap, well-worn clothes, you Night City, mid twenty forties. He was sick. He wouldn't. No, I know he's dreaming, but show. I just wanted to help him. Why injecting him with HGH? What were you thinking? Is this That's something HGH. your father taught you? Good people took you in, extended their trust. This is how you repay them? Your friend died. I understand. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But that is no excuse. The fucking, that's how you get the Ninja Turtles, huh? Fuck you. What did you just say? Okay. I've had enough. Principal's gonna hear about this. Your foster parents, too. I see. Like father, like son. School Bolton. Drugs are bad. School Bolton. Never forget. Recognize this shooting. It was a case study back at the academy. Give me a sec to check which school that was. Laguna Bend. Oh, looks like the whole town got flooded in the 50s. Well, at least we know the general area where Harris lived. I guess Mem that'd be that. Memorial to the 2044 school shooting. That fucking kid runs faster than the camera moves. Look at this. What was he looking at? Trophy. Old one. Dated from 2042. First place in an interscholastic wrestling tournament. Hmm. Don't you dare talk about my dad! That's right, you little shit. I know it all. Farm failed. Dad put a bullet in his head. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! You can't talk about my dad, you... you prick! You... you can't! You... you can't! He... he was... Moo. Sick! Weak! I just wanted to help him. Looking a little gray, yeah. Feeling a little gray. Tony, what? Is oh, let's watch this first. Even younger here. Gun now! Come here! Coming! Tony, come here! Yeah, Dad. You forget something? I asked you a question. I I don't know. Choline, I'm at thy nine levels. See anything odd? Um, too low? You were supposed to check before school. 
What do you gotta say for yourself? Cow's gonna die because of you. Gonna kill it like you killed your mama. I... I'm sorry. Don't apologize, just dial up her hormones. And shut off that goddamn cartoon! How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Half the day I spent trying to turn that shit off! Notice what, the fade effect? Or that it's the same cartoon? Ah, that's our cartoon. Well, Tony really seemed to love it. Guess that'd be that. Oh, the mom's alive? I did see that, yeah. They're feeding the cows? Yeah, it seems like they're keeping the cows alive via hormones and stuff. And he didn't check before he went to school. So his father is mad at him. Looks like a cattle bioscanner for checking vitals. <sighs> Got no way to ID him. Kid's father was a real hard ass. Male, formerly build. Male, farmer's build. Mid 21st century Texas origin. Physical resemblance to Anthony Harris. Relationship to Anthony Harris, father. Tony, come here. Yeah, Dad? You forget something? Cattle injectors for hormones, antibiotics. People ate meat loaded with this shit. How many times I gotta tell you not to leave it like that, hmm? Half the day I... Supplements in the feed for disease-free livestock. Annabelle Whitehead. Skin. Yeah. 
meat wine? I don't know. Isn't that just blood? It's mead. No, I'm joking. You gotta, you gotta, uh, the, the Maynard re reaction, doesn't that have to do with meat sugars? Maynard reaction, that one? What about sweet and sour chicken then? That's, that's sugar in it. Come here, you rascal. You'll hurt yourself. Tony will take good care of you. Easy now. So obviously he's keeping these kids in the farm. Trying to... Alright, maybe I shouldn't say that. Um, I almost said trying to milk them, but I don't think that works that way. Uh, trying to keep them safe. This might be the place, V. It's a recent Got some memory. cables. Gotta be his hideout. Got a clock. An hour to midnight. Looks like Peter Pan turned this farm into a goddamn final bastion. Is it? Electronic electrical parts. Turret and antipersonal mine parts. Oh. You must have been an auto shop or something here at some point. Me. He treats the kidnapped boys like cattle. Hearing what I'm hearing? Trash barge. That's the signal to dump. Has to be a landfill nearby. Machine controls an injection system for stimulants, hormones, something. Look, another one. Another one. Don't see Randy anywhere. Fire department search stamp right here. City South. Perfect. City South near a dump at a farm. The terminal controls the pens. Gotta be another deck somewhere for the mines and turrets. Victim. 
Afraid, nervous, elevated muscle tension. Signage on the farm model points to Petrochem. And where are you up to, Mike? Hey, the Illuminated Towers. Promoting the Us Cracks album that came out then. Colors changed every hour. I think that might be it. Not so sure, River. I think we ought to explore a bit more. Okay. Let's go with your gut. It's gotta be all she wrote in this movie. Okay, so where do we sit now exactly? We know Harris still lives near an old school that's now underwater. You can see the NC skyline and the Us Cracks towers from the farm. It's a few miles out. Farms located near a landfill. We know that too. Those towers promoting the Us Cracks album. Colors change regularly, once an hour. So we know the time. Eleven at night. We saw right. the clock. And that puts the farm east of the city. Southeast, actually. Stamp on the NCFD certificate was from the southern region. Farm models a petrochem design, so that eliminates any others. Which narrows it down to Edgewood Farm. That's got to be our place. So, we've got it. Just hope we didn't fuck it up. Come on, we gotta go. I'll take my car, it's faster. Okay, it won't let me call my car. I'll take your car, because it's scripted. V, can you unlock it? Oh man, I was I went to the store last night and I picked up some groceries and while I was bringing them in, a moth started flying around in my car and I was trying to get them out. You know, I was just scooping them with a box trying to get them out of the car. And um Let this work. He fucking just crashed into the pole. It's gotta work. Um Done more in two I days must have hit the light DVD with the with the weeks. box I was trying to scoop them out with because my light was on when I came yeah. out in the morning, which is not right. good. Thanks, v. And then, when I sat in my seat, the uh, handle to adjust the seat broke off, though. So. I don't know any sooner how he felt. What was eating at him? This isn't your fault. I'm his uncle, V. And I wasn't there for it. Fuck! How's it going, Doc? You're doing some laundry? Nice. A real TV star, yes. Hold on, Randy. Please Not the first on. time I would be on TV. I was on local TV a few times in college. How far is this ride? Not that much farther, All right? Didn't look like it was that far. Is it really that far? Uh, wait. Oh, that's not the marker we're going to. Oh. All right. Let's skip ahead. Holy shit, he just took that turn really sharp. River, this is the farm. We got it. I know. Let's get to the barn quick. Watch out for all the fucking turrets, dude. Heads up. Turrets are... Alive. The system controlling them must be in the house.
I want to turn off the fucking... River, move river. It's full of mines, river. Don't even. I just lock the door. I just lock myself out. Goodness, we're not being timed, right? It's got to be here. Have a look around. Brain Dance Kit, user's manual. With this brain dance kit, you're able to play all commercial brain dances formatted on compatible data storage media. For safety and certification reasons, this device should never be modified or tampered with in any way. Should you have a technical question or concern, please contact the accredited technician. If used in ways other than those designed, personal injury and damage to the device may occur. Please retain the following information in the event the device is put up for resale or given to a third party after purchase. Setup 1. Remove kit from packaging. 2. Insert brain dance media into the drive slot or use the provided cable to connect to a parent device. 3. Sit in a calm and quiet area and place the device on your head. 4. Turn on the device and enjoy your brain dance experience. Note. Accepting the above terms, conditions, and instructions means you waive any responsibility on the part of the many excuse me, manufacturer and all affiliated parties for any injuries and damages incurred during the use of this device. Enjoy. I can help you. Quasar Seeker. Hello, happy to see you signed up for my help program. I'd like to hear more about you. What is your name? What's been bothering you? You turn off the mines for XP? I don't know if I want to spend the time. I guess I could. It really matter? I'm nobody. I'm a zero. Nobody cares about me, but thanks for pretending to anyway. Give me a chance. Whatever. I'm Sean. I've been thinking about death a lot lately. Not how nothing matters, and why even try? My folks don't want me to be an embarrassment, but I'm a piece of shit, so fuck me, right? I can't... I keep fucking up and trying harder. And trying harder is just more miserable. Can't even get out of bed most days. So yeah, I guess that's it. Let me help, Sean. I know how to solve every one of your problems. You're worth more than you think. Trust me. Tony. It's all real. Hello. You asked on the application this is all for real. I can assure you, Ray Ray Bongo. <laughs> it absolutely is. Let's take the next step, and you'll see for yourself. Of course, before I can help you, I think it would be better if we got to know each other first, don't you think? My name's Tony, and you? Fuck off, Tony. X D D D D D D D D D. Hello, you have nothing to worry about. Everything you say stays between us. First, just tell me a little about yourself. Nothing to tell. My mom's dead. I live in a shithole. Oh, my dad's dead. I live in a shithole with my mom, bro, and sis. And I got an amazing girlfriend who's wasting her time on me. B. Randy. This is the one that we're looking for. I have a cop uncle who still wants to make something out of me. Yeah, good luck. Not that we talk much these days anyway. What else? Oh, I'm poor and a fucking waste of air and space. At least my dad had respect. I got nothing. Can't even afford any chrome. Only thing I did get lately was my ass beat by my chooms. My mom wanted to flatline herself once so I can't talk to her about anything or I'll be... The reason she slits her wrists. Hard to see how things got any worse, but even harder to see just how they get better. 
My life's a fucking co cosmic joke. Don't worry. The first step to improving your life is to acknowledge where you have where it has failed. Good news is that the first step is already behind you. I've 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 in your shoes before. I've in your shoes before? You what? You, you have in your shoes before. I know how you feel, and I know uh, how to help. Let me in. Open up, and everything will be fine in no time. You'll see. Fantastic news. Finnegan. Hello, I'm thrilled to hear you overcome, you've overcome. you overcome your illness. That tells me just how strong you are inside. But it's always good to have the strength of others to support you, too. Your rehabilitation is the next step to your road of healing. You've already healed your soul. Now let me take care of your body. Together, I know we can't fail. He shit in his shoes. No, I want to pick up the ashtray. toilet has lots of uh, flies around it. Oh my god. Look how many mines there are. I would have assumed this is where you would turn off the thing, but is that all I need for to level up is two more experience? I feel like it like watch whenever that bar like the experience bar fills up it like shows extra movement than there's actually there than that actually is moving very misleading Uh, 
How would you get in there? Oh, does the bookcase move? It's clipping through the fucking ceiling. Vending machine? Unusually thin wall. Have I gone to see a ripper dog since? No, I have not at all. What? Where? Where? What? It won't let me fucking push the. Oh. Try disabling the defense system, then haul ass to the barn. Tinker Bell. Net page not found. Four messages. I can help you. I think it's all the same ones. It said arm. Oh, disarm. Why would it why would it say arm remote deactivation? You can't take him up. Damn it. Locked up tight. Need to find another way. What are you talking about? Go on, Coulson. Not turning into a very fruitful, uh, walk around, huh?
Hey, thank you for the raid. And the follow, thank you. Why am I grayscale? Because I'm using a different camera today. Um, I set up a, a couple different monitors on top and I couldn't fit my regular camera. And this camera doesn't work very well. River, come here quick! Thank you, Evie, appreciate the raid. I think they wanted me to go in that other area. I just went past. I'm working on it. I'm working on the game. It, it's grown on me, to be honest. Oh, fuck. How did he get in? He just strolled in. He's here. Ready. I mean... There he is. He's hanging in there. We made it. V, shut down the machine. Can't unlink Brandy otherwise. Brandy. 1052. I repeat, I've got a 1052 at a farm south of the city. Yes, send the fucking squad! It's gone, Hat. Yeah, we're laying coordinates now. No, several, at least. Do it quick, damn it. Well, and watch for automated defenses on the side. They're substantial. Hurry. Okay, all disconnected. Check the others. Could still be alive. Right. An old cartoon for children. What's a 1052? I don't know if that's a real police code. Let's see. I'll look it up. Um, Police code. Police code. 1052. Dispute. <laughs> That's what I'm seeing. Ambulance? I see ambulance as 1054, but it's possible that it's uh, 1052. I think it depends on where as well. Supposed to be checking on the other kids. Easy there, easy now. Hey, you're all right now. Not at all fucked up, huh? It's okay. Don't be scared. We're here to help. You're a bit dehydrated, but you're gonna be fine. Hey, help me with Brandy. I'm helping the other kids. Dead a few days already. I like how he covered up the hole. Of course he's dead. He hey, cut off his air. Help me with Randy. Why does he look like he has a smirk on his face? Very nice in the fast forward to later. We did it, River. Yep. We sure did. But I'm not about to leave it like this. The horror that bastard inflicted. Can't let it go. He's in a coma, in police custody. He's not getting away with anything. He's still alive. So in a sense, he is getting away with it. Not for long, though. 
gonna squeeze the life out of him with my bare hands. Say, you're gonna try and kill him? Rever, come on, man. It won't change anything. Anthony Harris is a sad sack of meat, hooked up to a respirator now. For how long? He has to die. It's the only way I'll be sure. Stop. Gonna throw your life away getting revenge on a brain dead vegetable? Well, I don't know. Maybe you're right. But it's driving me crazy not doing anything. Actually, got quite a bit you can do, River. Joss, Randy, the kids. They're gonna need you now. More than ever. Yeah. No, you're right. Forget about Harris. Take one day at a time, but rest first. Once your head's on straight again, give me a hollow. We'll talk. Yeah. No, let's give you me a hello. Myself now. But Got then him. I'll call you. I will. Hey, we're ready for evac. Are you riding along or not? Really, V. Thanks. Couldn't have done it without you. No problem. Hey, don't be a stranger. Is secure. All witnesses questioned and victims are in route. Have Ramirez debrief with her boys here. They'll be gathering evidence till morning. Why are you echoing? Poor boys. All your years ever seen anything like this? Eight years in the force. Nothing comes close. Beyond twisted. I like how we just left the mine. Yeah, all right. Feel free. Leave the mine right out in the open. That certainly was a quest, huh? Right, we're gonna do this one next. Well, well, special favors for politicians. You think you've got any clout here? The paralysis might seem like a decent and down-to-earth folk, not sitting snug in the corpse pocket like the rest. They still, but they're still part of the rung elite, V. If they gotta step over you to get to the top, they won't hesitate. Don't believe even for a second that they're any different. I should read this in Keanu's voice. You think I can do a Keanu voice? Give me your best Keanu. I don't I don't I don't know what Keanu sounds like. I have to I don't have to hear him first. I, I don't think I could just do it without having a reference. Hey, 
Have you heard the latest urban legend haunting the We did find him, yeah. He was in the in that farmhouse. Hooked up the cow machine. These are the guys that we were investigating. Oh. The politician's death with. Where we, we broke into that underground club and we found out that the previous governor, whoever, able commissioner, whoever, um, got killed with that faulty brain dance. Um, and then the guy's partner covered it up. I admit, I really haven't watched many things that Keanu's in. I saw one of the John Whiskers. Um, look at that fucking perfect parking space. Uh, I don't know what else I've seen of his. Thanks. Why were there two shadows? Did you see that? There were two shadows there. What the fuck? Feeding him? They were they were keeping them alive, like they he was, they were livestock. But he was like, they were captured. They were, you know what I mean? He's basically holding them in stasis. Stasis. It's good to see you again. Something happened? Come on. Jeff will explain everything. He's just about done prepping for the debate. I've rescheduled all his Mike, meetings out of the office. talking about the cornerstone of my platform. I'm not doing a U-turn just because Night Corp. So nobody will bother us. No, I'm not sucking um, anyone's Bother us so they doing what exactly? In the ass. You'll know in a minute. All right, I don't want to get copyright voted. You know what's gonna happen. Uh, I'm just gonna I talk go. over it. Make the amendments. We'll pow out later. V, glad you can make it. Oh, uh, me too. Jefferson, grab a seat, please. I'll explain why I asked you to come. I don't up. think there's any way of avoiding it, unfortunately. We've had a break. Yeah, the music's public domain, Not but the people usual. monetize their performances, which then so gets claimed. So. How? It doesn't matter. A couple Talk of days back, way. dead of night, something wakes me. A noise. I grab my pistol and come out of the bedroom. See a stranger. He looks like he's about to reach for it. So I pull the trigger. Nail him? No idea. My head started spinning and I passed out. No trace of him the morning after. I'd like you to find him. Find out what he wanted. Why me of all people? So then his right hand looked like look into it. short. Prefer to use tried and tested contacts. <laughs> Can't blame you. Former mayor's death? You unraveled that mystery. I trust you'll be able to crack this one as well. Notify the badges yet? We don't want any buzz around this. No attention, whatever. You know, whatever or whatsoever. NCPD's full of people who like the occasional stray eddy. If we reported a break in, the media descend on us like a swarm of locusts. No badges. Gotcha. Of course, we notified SSI about the incident. Our private security. Intruder, take anything? Uh, break anything? Nothing missing. I haven't noticed any damage either. Jeff must have scared him off before he could do anything. Said you passed out. 
That's right. And just after I fired. What then? Nothing. I woke up in bed the next morning. Killer headache to boot. Any idea how you made it back to your bed? Nope. None. Elizabeth's at a loss, too. What did the intruder look like? I can't remember much. It was dark. He was wearing some sort of mask. Or was it an implant? I couldn't really get a good look at him. Elizabeth didn't see him either? I slept through the whole thing. Election season takes its toll on you. Through a gunshot? Security look into this. Say anything. This is where things get a little weird. They claim there's no sign of a break-in or of a shot being fired. Security cams didn't record anything. Guard outside didn't see or hear anything. They suggested Jeff must have had a bad dream. Convenient answer. Liz gave security the day off so I could call you in. This, um, security outfit, SSI. Who are they? Been on the market the last 15 years. They have clients across the city. If memory serves, they came recommended. An acquaintance. You think SSI might be behind this? Well, that or someone hiding behind SSI. Anyone come to mind readily? Walden Holt? He did kill the last mayor. And the Poles do have him trailing Jeff. But it could be anyone, really. Jeff has many enemies, a lot of them powerful. We could sit here naming names all day. I see. That's why I called you, V. I need you to find out what the hell's going on. Anything else you want to tell me? Or think you maybe should? Hmm. Nope. That about covered it. Liz? It seems like everything. It's unlikely we'll learn anything anyway. Honey, please. I'm sure V will turn something up. So, you got all you need for now? Wouldn't mind taking a look around the apartment. Of course. Liz can give you the tour. Gotta run to a meeting. As soon as you learn anything, let me know. Come on. Let me show you around. Right behind you. We can start where Jeff spotted our uninvited guest. They'd actually let you do that. Ooh. I have to admit, sometimes I get fed up with all of this. Politics? So far, we've managed to effectively turn down offers to work with Night Corp, Biotechnica, Arasaka. So far, you say? If Jeff can get elected without owing anybody, favors or otherwise, <laughs> that'd be the real victory. Jeff's office, control room, storage, and flea market crammed into one. Hold up, hold up. <laughs> Tight bites. You and Jeff must be putting in serious overtime. Elections. You don't even have time to think about food, so you just order whatever's quickest. But yes, it's true. Jeff hasn't eaten anything else recently. Milk. Seems a happy fam. Is that your daughter? Sachi. Oh, we miss her. Her studies took her abroad. Oh, where to? Europe. An excellent school. She'll get a good education. I know it's an ocean away. But with Jeff running for mayor, it's just safer this way.
This is Jeff's personal machine. I doubt you'll find anything on it relating to the break-in. Read all his emails. You know what, Leia? I hate this commercial. I really do. A gun? Shooting a sack of legislation? Doesn't get a cruder than this. What happens to running what happened to running campaign based on dignity? On giving my voters the respect they deserve. Jeff, with all due respect, you and your voters, these commercials are wedged between Watson Whore and Guns and Horses. Your commercials need to communicate with the voters in a language they understand. Mercenary. Mr. Prallas, your wife has informed my employees that you intend to hire a mercenary in regards to the dubious circumstances surrounding Mayor Ryan's untimely death. I understand your concern, but I can assure you this is best to leave in a matter this matter to the police. Should you have conversations to the police's integrity, then please consider the following my people to look into it, allowing my people to look into it. On behalf of my team, I can assure total and complete discretion. Important concern. Hey Jefferson, I need to toss a glance. Need you to toss a glance at some key aspects of the program. In particular, my suggestions concerning their anti-corporate stance. I think we haven't been on the same page about things recently. Eric, your tactfulness can sometimes be seriously annoying. As your chief advisor, I feel obliged to tell you this, Jeff. I know how important the public's perception of you is, but if you continue to antagonize the corpse, you'll be depriving this campaign of sources of potential funding and lead us vulnerable to attacks by much more powerful actors. Don't make matters worth, worse, worse, Jeff, please. It's a question of sincerity, Eric, of staying true to one's ideals, not about pandering to the public. Besides, do you think I'm some kind of amateur? I know where the limits lie, and the corpse know it too. I know how the game is played. Set your mind at ease. Good night. Fair enough. It's just that lately you've been acting a little unpredictable. Don't get me wrong. I know it's a position that's taken us a long way. I'm just worried you'll cross the line at some point. Anyway, remember to get to good night's sleep. You'll need a clear head. What happened? Jeff, could you explain to me why Leia's still here? I thought we'd let her go. Did something change? I don't follow. What are you talking about? Well, she's here. Like, nothing happened. She sent me a new ad today that apparently you approved. Am I going crazy or something? Eric, what the hell are you on about? Who told you to fire her? Because it most definitely wasn't me. If you got something against her, then speak up. As far as I'm concerned, Leia stays. Not like she was going anywhere to begin with. Pull yourself together, Eric. Okay, I must be imagining things. Forget I brought it up. Oh. This Leia sounds suspicious. Whoa! Why, are you, is something here you want to guard? Outdoors, of course. Mitch Anderson, I needed that. Take good care of Scorpion's things, okay? I don't want to see them ending up in some CD pawn shop. What? Blood stains. Not quite scrubbed clean. Where's the blood from? It yours? I'm 100% sure it's not ours. Maybe the intruders? Probably. There's no fucking, like, surveillance camera evidence that... Department of Law at Asukaga, Berkeley. Hmm. Classy. You and Jeff graduate from the same school? Must have been expensive. We were lucky. On full scholarships, funded by the Knight Foundation. A charity founded by Richard Knight's widow. They helped a lot of underprivileged kids with ambitions. Oh, look at his podcasting setup. Complete with fucking wireless floating microphone and mic stand. Wow. I wish I had such tech, right? How cool would that be to have a mic stand that just floated in midair and a microphone that floated in midair? Dad's campaign. Elizabeth Paralas. Honey, I really appreciate how much you want to help during the, your academic break, but I think it's best you stay where you are for now. Everything here is under control. You should spend this time focusing on yourself. Take advantage of everything Europe has to offer. Love, Mom. SSI told him the cameras were clean. Yes, but we don't trust them. We wanna, we wanna review it for ourselves. 
I get it. This is about me becoming a target if I get involved in the campaign. I heard Ryan died of a heart attack. I'm not a gonk. I know that NC mayors have a habit of leaving their jobs in a coffin. It's fine. Don't worry. Just watch out for yourselves, all right? And do what your security tells you. Help with a private matter. Dear Miss Alvarez, I'm writing to you on behalf of Jeff. There's a sensitive matter for which we could really use your skills and expertise. Full disclosure, I'm hoping you can return the favor Jeff once did for the mocks. Can we count on you? I'm not sure if I can right now. Can I ask what this is about? It's about a certain brain dance. To be honest, the matter is of a highly de delicate nature, and discretion is as much a professional analysis as as much as professional analysis is paramount for us. Time is also of the essence, so I'm hoping for a prompt reply. It goes without saying that you'll be well compensated for your trouble. Believe me, I would if I could, but my hands are really tied at the moment. I know someone you can call, though. He's a merc, known a known quantity at the afterlife. Does preem tier work? They call him V. Oh. I'll be sure. I'm sure he's willing to help. Thank you for the referral. Little favor, need confirmation. Hey Liz, sorry to bother you, but did Jeff mention anything about why he changed his mind about firing Leia Patel? One day we're both in agreement that she has to go. The next day when I bring it up he says he has no idea what I'm talking about. To be honest, this whole situation baffles me a bit. Don't worry about it. Jeff explained everything to me. The truth is what you agreed on just slipped his mind, plain and simple. Stress, I presume. In any case, certain circumstances have changed in favor of Leia remaining where she is. Please excuse Jeff and let's all put this matter behind us. Understood. Thanks for clarifying. Ah, so maybe Leia's involved with this somehow. I do want some of this advanced microphone tech. That actually kind of looks a little bit like my microphone. Not not completely. Eh, maybe less so from this angle. Iron. This, this is Jeff's? Sleep. Mm, mine, actually. But yes, that's the one Jeff used that night. Is this like a wardrobe where you get dressed right by the fucking window? Is that not a little bit weird? Maybe it's a future window. I like all the items in there I can't see. Notice anything different in here after the break-in? My name, Jeff. No, I don't think so. What do you have in mind? Jeff said he passed out. Anything seem out of the ordinary? The bedding, its arrangement, any signs at all? As if he was dragged back to bed, you mean? No, I didn't notice anything. Mind if I take a look around? Be my guest. Why didn't you make your bed this morning? Illegal. Wedding pick. Interesting backdrop. I wanted blue roses, so we ordered a whole truckload. <laughs> blue roses? What, you sure? Because the roses in this picture look pretty red to me. Oh, of course, you're right. They didn't have blue roses, I forgot. Hmm, that's suspicious too. All right, let's act it out. Come lay down in bed next to me. No. <laughs> She's a synth. I don't even know if there are synths in this world in that context. Ah, yes. The tub right next to the fucking patio so everyone on the patio can see you taking a bath. Golden toilet? Yeah, I wouldn't have suspected it anywhere else. No, I wanted to open up the fucking thing! Ah, this game.
chemical residue. Why is this door concealed? Where? There's no door here. What do you mean there's no Scanner's door here? The showing something different. Wait. You mean here? Right here. It's closed. Previous owners left over, maybe? No. Open it. Somehow, please. You didn't notice there was a giant it's fucking room in the, the middle of your house? Stairs. What's it for? Connected to the wall mounted screens. They Wonder where else privacy. these cables run. Sons of bitches! Under my own roof! Connected to the no, wall mounted screens. <laughs> I, I can't do it, good Keanu. Too long. This ends now. I am not letting any more of those freaks set foot. Ugh. My head. Something wrong? Don't worry about me. Do what you have to do. Messages. Report. Operating operation condition. Entry 0986. A, 0987. Typical behavior of the target exceeded acceptable variation range. Alpha has started using stimulants, most likely due to the heightened stress induced by recent events. I hereby authorize amplification of neut neutral neural dampening. Despite objections from the Chief of Security, Wallace Target Alpha has ex uh, contracted the services of a local mercenary. This qualifies as an extreme deviation from acceptable behavior norms and calls Alpha's general stability into question. I hereby request emergency maintenance. Oh no, are they robots? Requesting maintenance. Request to proceed with operation condition. Target Alpha has been approved. Joint maneuver will be conducted with Team Orange. Report from Operation... Condition entry 0995. Mercenary contact contracted by Alpha has appeared on site. Field agents from Tier Orange have successfully avoided contact. Orange reports that mercenaries does not pose any threat to the operation. Suspension of Operation Con Condin. An extreme behavioral deviation occurred while conducting main uh, planned maintenance procedures. Field Agent Blue M uh, 66M was severely injured by Target Alpha and evacuated by Teams Orange and Black. Operation Suspension Protocol has been initiated and only Team Orange is to remain on site. Team Black will continue observation until normal operations can be resumed, which will not occur before the audit and report summary from Team Blue. Boy. God, so they're spying on them. There a hole in the ceiling. Odd. Text practically prehistoric. But it doesn't look older than a day. Saw something like this back in the war. Transmitters. Militech was using them. Short range UHF. Signal only travels line of sight, but it can't be intercepted. Line of sight? Let's look around, see if we can't spot where our receiver's camping out. It's gotta be over here, no? Judging by the angle, it's gotta be here. Got a vision, the receiver. Black van parked next to it. Gotta be our winner. Transmitters within reach of our mystery van. I wonder if Elizabeth has ever seen the car. Oh, can they just see into there? 
Oh, this was the wall. Ah, oh, Jesus. Yeah, they're getting spied on, huh? Liz, this is way bigger than we thought. Jeff's entire campaign could be threatened. Let me worry about the race. Just tell me what you managed to find. There's a transmitter on the roof. It seems to be conveying a signal to a van out front. You know who it might be? We never set up any transmitter. And I don't know a thing about any van, but my guess is it's SSI's. Don't really see any other possibility, but we still don't know who they work for. So what do we do with the transmitter? Nothing just yet. Let me check the van first. Bug it. I'll wait here. Just don't tell Jeff anything for now, okay? Sure, whatever. I'll call him once I know something more substantial. That's fine. Just remember it's the busiest time for Jeff right now. You can always come and talk to me. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Sure, it's the biggest time for them right now, but also, uh, they think <laughs> they're robots. They're dead. Take the wheels, V. That van could give us a slip any second. How about we take the wheels, V? I, I can't really do his voice. a corpo conspiracy here, V. I'm telling you. They could be corpo spies or who the fuck knows what.
look at politicians and see a curated display, but behind the scenes, it's all out war. Citizens don't choose their representatives. Then who? The key players, string pullers. They spy on all the paralyses, look for weak spots, blood scan in rig elections. Why that guy have green? Look, why is it green? Hey, thank you, Fluffy. Appreciate it. Go collect some of the stuff I missed here. He was a Vulcan, that's why he was green. I don't know enough about Star Trek to know if that's a thing or not. Green green Vulcans.
Well, that guy's having a bad day, huh? Pierced we're in. Couldn't ask the NCPD for better records than this. Pictures, medical records, vulnerability to neuroplasticity, and some kind of database. Brain scans, the paralysis, biological casts, neuroplasticity. Fuck. What about that? The blue shit. Fresh neural links. Go on, can I tell you on them, Johnny. They're fucking with their heads. I mean to say someone's literally controlling our upstanding politicians' minds? Mm hmm Red blots are memory residue in the hippocampus region. See how they're bleeding into the blue? So what are we looking at? They're planting new memories in their heads, modifying their personalities. This is big shit, Johnny. Fuck me. Got other guinea pigs besides the paralysis, too. Quick, download the data. Whoever comes looking for it. That's your suspect. Shit. They're wiping the data. We've been made. Now they know someone's been in their database. Wonder if they also know who. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. I, I think it had some issues on launch, but... A fair amount of it has been patched. Um, there are still some weird little issues, but... For the most part, yeah, it's pretty playable and pretty good. Definitely grown on me. My car is talking, uh, bouncing off of something. I can't loop this one guy. Let me... Oh, there we go. You weren't impressed. Interesting, Dark. I, uh, how, how much did you play? Because I, I think as I played it, it, it grew more and more on me. Initially, I was kind of like, uh. But I think once I got far enough in that there were more side missions, I was like, oh, yeah, all right. V, do you have any news? Okay, you're gonna want to sit down for this. It's, uh, it's way bigger than we thought. What is? You're being brainwashed. Literally. They've scanned your minds, now using some kind of conditioning to... Wait, not on the hollow. Right, I'll come by. No. You and I, we need to speak alone. I know a little ramen place in Japantown. Sending you the coordinates. Right. See you there. Alright, Johnny, you drive. Put my, the fire out. Ah, lame. That'd be a really cool feature. Uh, 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 attention to detail. If the burst fire extinguisher put the fire out on your car.
Was that from me crashing two seconds ago? really wants us to go to the right, doesn't it? Oh. Uh, yep. Alright. Now it's really on fire. I definitely agree. Definitely a lot of promises made that weren't fulfilled. I can kind of understand that. I, I guess I kind of didn't really go in with any expectations besides it being kind of shitty because that's all I heard. And I don't think it's that bad. Normally, if I'm not digging the game, I'll, I'll stop playing it. You know what I mean? And I'm still enjoying playing it. Yeah, the re-release in 2077. Wow, it was on fire already? Wow, that's a pretty shitty truck. Even the horn's shitty. Can I just hide right here? Die.
Um, it's only first person mode. There is a third person driving mode as well as first person. Um, but there are some mods for third person gameplay. Um, your character model is kind of janked. It's not made for third person. So people have been working on trying to make the character model less janky in third person. But yeah, there's no official third person mode. Nice texture. Will you sit? Please? Thank you for coming. Cozy little joint. Doesn't really match your style, though. But it's perfect for a one on one. Here we are, then. What is it? I. I'm sorry. My nerves are shot. I can't gather my thoughts. Wasn't that long ago since we last met? Something happened since then? No, I mean, something did happen, though not recently. It's a long story. I don't quite know how to tell you. Where to even start? Relax, no need to rush. Ah. <sighs> Uh, uh, a while ago, I started noticing some changes in Jeff's behavior. His personality... He seemed to be changing right in front of me. Becoming someone else. How so? He stopped reading, forgot the title of his favorite movie. Even his musical taste changed overnight. Once... I said we should visit his brother's grave. And he told me that he'd been an only child. That's when I started thinking something bad was happening. Something insidious. And not just with Jeff. Notice any changes in yourself. After some time, on several occasions, my friends pointed out that I was acting strangely. That must have been hard. It was. You know, it's at times like those you start to question reality. So the whole time, you knew what I could end up finding. I don't know who, how, or why, but they're changing us. That concealed room in our apartment. What about it? I'm sure I'd seen it before, but must have somehow forgotten. I find that terrifying. Mention any of this to Jeff? I tried. I did. But he's blinded to everything. He just laughed, said I was imagining things. He once brought up a vacation that we never went on, swear to God. He went on about it in such detail, I almost started believing him. Could be just you who forgot. Maybe they wiped the trip from your memory. Hell, I don't know anymore. Don't you get that? You haven't told me the whole story yet, have you? I saw a stranger in our apartment one night tinkering with the monitors. But I was in such a state by then that I didn't know if I could trust my own eyes. So you didn't do anything? I don't remember what happened. I talked to security the next morning. Let me guess. Cams didn't pick anything up. The guy just shrugged and said I must have dreamt it. 
He showed me the recording, of course. I felt like a lunatic. And then, the next day, I got a call. Who was it? I like how the cigarette stays then, standing up. Whoever they are. There was a garbled voice on the other end. He never introduced himself. They threaten you, try to blackmail you. They said I was walking on thin ice. That if we kept stirring up trouble, Jeff could have an accident. Then they wiped any record of our conversation. It was as if it had never happened. So I'm begging you, V. Jefferson can't find out about any of this. Ever. His life depends on it. What if you're just saying what they programmed you to say? <laughs> just reading off a script based on thoughts planted in your head. All I know is, I love my husband, and I want him to be safe, and... and happy. But that's what they want you to know. You know what Jeff will do if you tell him? I know my husband. He'll start looking on his own. He can't find out about this. It... it'll destroy him. You think if I tell him everything, that he'll go and pick a fight he can't win? I don't just think. I know. One thing hasn't changed. Jeff's still a fighter. And he'll go down swinging. Mm-hmm. So how do we play this? I'm going to tell Jeff that SSI was spying for his rival, Holt. You just need to confirm what I say. And if I'm not on board? You have a choice. Just remember, any consequences will not be yours to deal with. If you truly prepared to fire SSI, after the threats, it'd be brave, but risky as all get out. What they're doing to us is one thing, but when you found that concealed room, I can't accept strangers spying on us while we sleep. Not under my own roof. What difference does it make where? I'll take full responsibility for anything SSI goes on to do. I'm just asking you not to get Jefferson involved. Hmm. I'll add a meeting in Reconciliation Park to Jeff's schedule. He'll be waiting. Since I can't know if I'll remember this conversation tomorrow, I'm counting on you not to forget what I asked of you. I won't. But that's all I can promise. Goodbye, V. Goodbye. Whole thing's fucked up, huh? Wouldn't want to be in her pants. Speaking of, overlapping memories, changing personalities. Remind you of anything? Of you. But hey, at least we know what we're up against. No, this is different. You saw yourself. They're purposely modifying their minds, individual thoughts. Mm-hmm. Paralysis make a damn nice next-gen puppet. Even in my day, there were whispers about this kind of stuff. Cognitive pattern fluctuators, remote neural re-networking. In layman's terms, gaslighting. The beauty is that everything's fair game. Subliminal TV signals, high-density emitters in your electric toothbrush. You name it. So, in my pants, what would you do? Some real rat bastards behind this. Someone's got to take them down. Even by risking the paralysis lives. Fuck knows what kind of shit a mayor controlled by puppet masters could pull. But yeah, you could end up putting their lives at risk. Or not. Tough choice, V. Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna take five minutes. Uh, hit the bathroom, get some iced tea, take a break. I'll be back in a few and we'll continue this quest line, alright? I think I want to change this music.